This is Frank Hettler, Ausbildung's top energy manager. His job, to lower energy consumption, especially in public buildings, with the help of database monitoring. I always try to view a building as a whole, in order to analyze its energy flow. It's a constant search. What can be made more efficient? How can we improve things? Concerto gave us a lot of impetus in this direction. Concerto war da ein guter Rückenwettgeber. Database monitoring is a housekeeping system. Financial analysis offers us a degree of transparency in energy consumption. Monitoring tells us that a measure is working or in some cases that it's not. Here's a diagram, for example, of annual consumption and how it's changed. It includes trend lines of how high consumption could be now if we hadn't intervened. We started in 2005. The first initiative targeted the town hall. Since then, there's been quite a sharp drop in consumption. Quite a sharp drop? Via these measures, the South German town of Ostfilden has saved over a million kilowatt hours just by reducing heating since 2005. Data like this, together with further data from another 22 EU-funded projects, is collected and analyzed by the Institute for Technology in Karlsruhe and then made available to decision makers. The town hall modifications have saved the town 12,000 euros per year, starting with 50 euros for every neon tube once it's been switched off. And because we now only have a third of the lights switched on, there's still some impact. But we're saving a considerable amount of energy. On a staircase like this, there can easily be 20 neon tubes. That means you can save a thousand euros on the stairs alone. There used to be a vending machine in the corner here. We removed it and saved about 400 euros a year. It didn't offer us the range of drinks we wanted anyway. There used to be uh, five or six neons here across the ceiling. They've been replaced with LED spotlights, which use around three watts apiece. It saves us about 400 euros a year. We're in the central heating system here. That's the heating pump. And if you convert it into a high efficiency pump, preferably in conjunction with hydraulic balancing, you can really save a significant amount of energy as well. We've got additional equipment. It means additional improvements in the field of monitoring. With measures like the installation of EU-funded smart metering boxes such as these, which transmit a household's consumption every five minutes. Yeah, I think it is about raising awareness. And naturally, things like smart metering and database monitoring help to make energy consumption uh, more transparent. Data protection is something we're very aware of. Public buildings should be open and transparent. And so the same should apply to energy consumption. Raising awareness about energy, that's important to the project partners in Ostfilden. And setting examples like the solar panels at the sports field, a project which is sparing the environment a large amount of CO2 emissions. Yes, it's the combination. Firstly, constructing a relatively energy efficient building and then the icing on the cake, covering its entire energy consumption with renewable energy sources. Of course, that is where you want to end up. If you wanted to be really radical, you'd have to go into all kinds of shops and any other buildings that you pass and immediately motivate people inside and say, listen, you can't go on like this. You've got to do something. You can switch things off. You can save so much energy. It's really easy. All you have to do is to take the first step.